extracorporeal shockwave therapy, a treatment option for patients with plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis, commonly referred to as heel spur, is a common cause of heel pain and affects about 2.5 million people each year in the U.S. The muscle that stretches along the bottom of the foot, the plantar fascia, is responsible for maintaining the arch of your foot. When the plantar fascia pulls away from the bone, your heel becomes painful. Your body may react by filling the space with new bone, a heel spur. Most people think that heel spurs are the cause of their foot pain, but the pain is actually caused by the inflammation or irritation of your plantar fascia muscle. Plantar fasciitis is caused by a number of factors and is a common sports injury among runners, walkers, and athletes. Overweight people and those whose jobs require a lot of standing or walking are also at high risk. Other factors leading to plantar fasciitis include flat or high arched feet, worn out or improper shoes, jogging on sand, and increasing age. Shockwave therapy was originally developed by Dornier MedTech to break up kidney stones in the body. The therapy was approved by the FDA in the early 1980s and today is the standard treatment of choice for urinary stones. An important benefit of this therapy is that it's delivered outside the body, so many of the risks associated with surgery are eliminated. The shock waves actually stimulate or trigger your body's own repair mechanisms. Doctors around the world, especially in Europe, have successfully used the same shockwave technology since the early 1990s. Dornier EPOS Ultra is a new shockwave therapy system designed specifically for orthopedic use. The system consists of three main parts. Shockwave therapy system. This system produces the actual shock wave, also known as pressure or sound waves, which travel through the therapy head's water-filled cushion. This cushion is placed against your foot during treatment. Articulated arm. The therapy head is attached to the end of this arm-like device on the system. The arm is easily moved so that the therapy head can be closely aligned to the area of your foot being treated. Ultrasound imaging system. Much like an x-ray, the ultrasound imaging system is used by healthcare providers to actually see inside your foot. A live picture of your foot will show on a TV-like screen so the doctor can pinpoint the treatment site and closely watch what's going on before, during, and after your treatment. Your feedback relative to the exact location of the pain is important too. The treatment takes approximately a half hour. Before therapy begins, you'll be asked to identify the area of your foot with the most pain, which the physician will note. An ultrasound image of your foot will be taken as well. You'll then be given a shot in your foot to numb the area and asked to lie down on an exam table. A gel will then be applied to both your foot and the therapy head. The therapy head, which houses the shockwave source, will then be placed against your foot. Using a handheld monitor, your doctor will release the shock waves with the push of a button on a special control panel. Based on worldwide medical experience, extracorporeal shockwave therapy is a safe and effective alternative to the traditional treatment methods available. Shockwave therapy relieves pain and provides a short recovery period. This therapy may eliminate the need for surgery altogether, which is often expensive and could cause other health problems. There are very few side effects or risks involved with shockwave therapy. The most common patient complaint during therapy is a little pain or discomfort during and after treatment. Other side effects might include minor skin bruising and or reddening, as well as swelling for a brief period of time. You're encouraged to discuss with your physician any reason or reasons why you shouldn't undergo shockwave treatment or why the treatment has not been used to treat some people. Your personal physician is your best source of information and can better explain the treatment and answer your questions in more detail. Hello folks, there is a new non-invasive and non-surgical way that you can potentially eliminate your weeks, months or years of frustration with not being able to walk pain-free, not being able to play your favorite sports as a result of heel pain or ankle pain, not being able to play tennis or golf because of elbow pain, whether it's lateral elbow or medial elbow problem. So if you're suffering from plantar fasciitis, heel pain, heel spur, 
Achilles tendonitis, which is a big tendon that comes from the bottom of your leg all the way connects to your heel causing ankle joint pain, you better listen to this video. If you're suffering from elbow pain, recurrent shoulder pain, recurrent shoulder problems, knee pain, we have a great treatment modality for you that can potentially help you without the side effects of corticosteroids, without the side effects of drugs or surgery. It is truly designed for better result and faster healing. The treatment is called extracorporeal shockwave therapy. It is a big name, but it has worked really good for our patients. The treatment modality is made by different companies called different names. So if you hear, for example, pulse wave therapy, shock wave therapy, radial shock wave therapy, EPAT, stem wave, stem wave, soft wave therapy. They're all same or similar treatment modality and the theory behind it with different names, which gets similar results. So stem wave, pulse wave therapy works great on joint pain, ankle joints, elbow joints, shoulder joints, knee joints, it works very well for the surrounding tissues of the joints, such as muscles, ligaments, tendons, meniscus, and your knees. They work great on heel spurs, Achilles tendon, plantar fascia, which causes plantar fasciitis. That is the thickening of the plantar fascia underneath your foot that causes heel spur. And when you wake up in the morning and start walking, you have walking difficulty. It is very commonly seen and causes ankle joint pain. So what this treatment does, it sends acoustic sound waves to the area of the body that it's applied to. And it starts healing the area immediately. It also works great on adhesions, such as adhesive capsulitis of your shoulder, scar tissue formation. Scar tissue, we have seen many scar tissue formation. There is scar tissue after a surgery. Patients had a surgery, did not work well, and caused scar tissue because they have to cut your skin and the muscles and the ligaments to get to the area they want to do surgery. Sometimes scar tissue is formed even after a successful surgery or you hurt yourself, you don't get treatment, and it causes untreated injury. Because unfortunately, many of you use pain as a guide. You think if you injured your ankle and the next day you have pain, and a week later you don't have pain, that means it healed properly. But we see this commonly for chronic ankle joint, plantar fascia, and heel spur problem where it did not heal properly because what happens when the ligaments, for example, the fibers of the ligaments or tendons or muscles, they are supposed to be like this. When it breaks, they form an unorganized fashion of healing. So when it forms like this and it heals in an unorganized fashion, what it causes, it causes a scar tissue. When you have scar tissue, it needs to heal properly. And this device, extracorporeal radial shockwave therapy, it helps for these tissues to heal in an organized fashion. So by sending acoustic waves, it causes the body to produce natural inflammatory response, which as a result, it causes the messenger RNAs, growth factors, peptides, and the body's own stem cell to be activated and be dispersed for the body to start healing immediately. Shockwave, it usually is done one to two sessions a week for six sessions. It takes about 20 minutes each session, but it is based on your individualized needs. This video is only for information. Sometimes the doctor decides for you to receive one time a week for eight weeks, sometimes twice a week for three weeks, sometimes twice a week for six weeks. It really depends what area of the body is, if there is scar tissue formation. If you have done treatments that did not work, 
I would highly advise to talk to one of our physicians about this treatment because this treatment has helped us tremendously without drugs, without pills, and without injections. In addition, it causes angiogenesis to occur, which means increased blood flow, new vessels, new sensory nerve formation, and that is why this treatment is also used for patients with erectile dysfunction, with peripheral neuropathy, to stimulate nerve, uh, nerve and new vascular tissue, because it causes the body to put more attention to that area and healing starts immediately. It improves tissue oxygenation. That means more oxygen to the area, therefore healing happens faster. It stimulates your own stem cell, as I mentioned, accelerates healing of damaged tissue without the drugs, injection, or surgery. It works on acute and chronic conditions. It doesn't have to be acute or chronic. It has worked very well for our patient base for acute and chronic conditions. Sometimes our physicians, they incorporate this with regenerative PRP or stem cell therapy. So this device could be used solo, which most of the times it is not, or it could be used with, as an adjunct to another modality that's appropriate. Okay, so after assessment, when you receive acoustic shockwave therapy or soft wave stem wave therapy, you may get stem cell therapy or PRP. What is PRP? PRP, we take a little blood from you, put it in a special centrifuge to have a strategic speed and frequency to separate platelet rich plasma versus platelet poor plasma. And when you have this separation, we can take the platelet-rich plasma and inject it strategically to the area of need, which accelerate this even much faster because the acoustic shockwave therapy creates strategic inflammation in the area. And when you do the PRP, it signals the cells to come here more rapidly and start healing. So we have used this modality in substitution of steroids, anti-inflammatory, and medications for kids, adults, elderly, kids from elementary school all the way to high school, many different types of sports injuries has responded well, specifically golfers, tennis players, impact sports, runners. It works really, really well. Please make sure to speak to one of our physicians about this uh, extracorporeal shockwave therapy to see if it's a good fit for your needs or not. And God bless.